Okay, this is registering and navigating the new online auction platform. So right now I'm just on the Hurley Auctions website and I'm going down to where the new software is. And I'm going to click on that big red link that says click here to go to auction. Now to start, you need to make a bidder profile for yourself. So you're going to click here to register for this auction and create a new account. You're going to fill in all of this information and then on the bottom left hand side, you are going to say that you are not a robot. Then you're going to go to the right and say, I agree. Then you're going to be sent a SMS verification code. So this is a text message with a code. You can click send or you can choose to do this later. Once you get that code in, you'll enter that in here on this next screen, verify. Once you do that, the next step is the verification email. So you'll keep the screen open, go to your email. This is what the email should look like. You're going to click there on that link and verify your email address. You should see that you are successfully verified and you can go ahead and close out that screen. Now you can go to register for the auction. Once here, you're going to need to add a credit card on file. So go ahead and click add a credit card. You're going to fill in all of this information and at the bottom right, you are going to click save. Go ahead and put close. Now complete auction registration for people that are tax exempt. You are going to click here where you can upload your tax exempt form. You're going to click browse, find the document on your computer and upload it. At this time, I do not have one to upload. So I'm going to go back to the main screen. Once here, I still need to register for this specific auction. So I'm going to click here to register. Uh, from that drop down menu for the credit cards, I'm going to select the one I put in earlier. I am not tax exempt for this auction, so I will click no. Then you should receive that you are uh, successfully registered for this auction and you can click return to auction. Here is where you're going to be able to take a look at the entire catalog. To view an item and additional photos of that item, you can click on the thumbnail and scroll through. If you want to change the view from a grid to a row view, which is what our traditional platform was before, you can do that here. As for that tax exempt form, if you decided to skip that earlier, you can always go back to that here on the left hand side at that menu. And at this time, you can upload your document here. Some other pretty special features with this, uh, you are able to set reminders for auctions. You can do that by clicking this button. You have the option to either send a reminder to your email or cell phone one hour before the event closes. Another special thing is you can mark items that you don't want to bid on right now, but you just want to keep an eye on them. They are marked under your watched items. If you feel like you don't want to see an item anymore, you can always uncheck that little icon that looks like an eyeball. Right now, I'm going to bid on this item by confirming twice by tapping on that, that I want to enter my max bid there of 16 times two for those items there. I can click on the left tab of currently winning to see any items that I am the winning bidder on. If I change my mind and I want to increase my bid, I can do that here. But please note, you do need to make sure a decimal point is entered in there. And I'm going to click twice that I confirm that this is the item I want to bid this amount for. Note that my original bid did not go up, but my max bid did increase in the background. If I want to go back to all the items, I can click up there at the top to show all items. If I don't want to look at that sidebar where all the preview and pickup information is, I can click this button here. But on the left is where you're going to see when the auction was going to close, the preview, pickup, things that you guys are typically used to. If I want to see what my totals are right now for the auction, I can click here. It's going to show me everything I'm winning and a total for max bids as well. If I want to look for a specific item, I can type that up here. As you can see, any item that has the letters W-O-O-D together are going to populate. You can drop down to expand any items to see the full description. 
As you can see here, it just says Woodfield. Nothing actually says just wood. This next part is now that you are registered, you have a better account with us and you are somehow logged out of your account for this particular auction. If you go back to the auction that you want to bid on, if you see that want to bid, that means you were logged out and you need to log back in by clicking the top right hand button. You'll enter in your email address and your password here and you're logged back in and you can continue to bid. If you wish to log out, you'll just click that top right hand icon as a silhouette of an individual. If for any reasons you guys have any questions, please feel free to call us at the office. You can reach us here at our phone number at 717-597-9100 or you can always send us an email at info at Thanks for watching.